Okay, back on the uh, RCA 25AP22. I have my barrel set up here. I'm in the, getting ready to attempt removal of the safety glass. Now, upon further examination, what I've noticed is this glass may not be cracked. It only appears to be broken. It only appears to be cracked and broken. I don't think there's anything wrong with this safety glass. And as mentioned in other other um, other YouTube video members, um, these RCA service tubes, this tube just keeps testing better and better and better the more I test it. I've only tested it twice on the B&K 467 and the Sencor CR70. And they both deliver the, the same results. A little variation, but uh, pretty much it tests okay. It's not bad, and it's not stellar. Excellent. It reads okay. So, in preparation for this, my, uh, I've got a smock I'll put on, an apron. I don't have any clothes, and so I'm going to try these house shims, these door shims. And this is a still shot from Shango 066's Roundy CRT 21 FJP 22 safety glass removal. And uh, this is just a still shot. I don't have any of this 3M double sided foam tape. I People around here, I can't seem to find this stuff. They don't know what I'm talking about. I went to auto body shops, I've gone to home centers. I may try a, a big box home center. Uh, I have my chopsticks. These are not pointed by in any way or shape, but uh, a little bit. But we have some chopsticks over here. I have the face shield. So again, we'll take a look at this. We have it out here in the sun. I'll put a. It's a little warm. I'll put a bag over it, although my sun has gone in behind the clouds. But uh, we'll see if we can warm this up. We'll get the heat gun out here, get dressed up, and give this a shot. Okay, so we have our heat gun ready. Place some plastic over the uh, base of the CRT. We have some hazy sunshine. Uh, right now I'm getting about... 106. It was 120 a little while ago, but well, uh, I'll consult. I'll consult the uh, experts there, and we'll see what temperature we need to get this up to to attempt the removal. Being a chemical formulation, it probably has some breakdown temperature. Yeah, 145. I'm guessing. I don't know, but let's go in and see what others have to say. It's not very warm at the moment out in the sun. Okay, our other friends in the business seem to uh, go in between, oh, I don't know, 150 and 300. I don't know if I want to approach quite 300. I have 136. I've gone ahead and added the halogens. I'll go around there throwing off some heat. It's hot out here. Our sun's returned. I'll try and get this thing up. I think to say anything under two would be okay. I don't see it as a major problem. So first thing I'm gonna do is go around and these bees out of here. Scram. The uh, you can see the PVA is already like breaking out of there in chunks. Let's just go around with our spudger. Let's see how we do. Let's take this tape off. It's just stuff's just coming right out of here.
we'll do next is after this one we'll take a look at the uh, 21 FJP22 Roundy. This is kind of setting the stage for us for it's kind of like ice in the winter time how it's just sliding on out of here. I'm not going to force this at all. As I'm finding out more and more these are getting scarcer and scarcer to find these sort of things. As scarce as the people that are restoring them I suppose. I want to keep my cork material for later on the clamps. I suppose I could have left the clamps on. I did go ahead and mark where it is. Go around and just poke some of this stuff out. I like these spudgers. I've used them in uh, many, many things because it's not marring like a screwdriver or whatnot. It's just, uh, it's just a nice, tough plastic. I've gone through quite a few of them. This stuff's just peel, just pulling right out of here. I'm gonna move the, uh, let's move the lamp to the other side. Although it's not directly pointing on it, it's throwing enough heat to be... Just throwing enough heat for us for now. I'll try and keep our little label there that says notice. This tube contains an electron gun and used materials which prior to use were carefully inspected to meet our high quality standards. PU, a little stinky. We're just going to go along and the less of this is in here. I feel. Is what's needed here. By the sound of that wind blowing, we're running out of time. All right, my edge is clean. Still have a pretty good bond there. You can see it's it's lifting. You can see there's something in there. There I can get the spudger under there. Alright, what I'm going to do, as noted in other videos, I'm going to go with the chopsticks or the Chopsticks and or the uh, wedges here is all I have. I looked at some clothespins. They were just horrible, 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 horribly made clothespins. That you wouldn't have wanted to use. I'm new with the chopsticks. I don't know whether I want to break them apart and stick them in. Okay, again, this hasn't been hours, only minutes. So 144. I've been moving the halogens around. And I think it's ready to, maybe we'll uh, try some heat gun. I have these door shims which start out skinny and go wide. And actually the lamps themselves, I put a little downward pressure on the glass. So it's this area here that we're concerned about. So let's um, I 
let's heat it up with the heat gun a little. see it starting to walk and separate. We're just going to keep working this. Push the whoop, wedges in a little more. Don't drop that. As we push the wedges in a little more, we heard a little noise and we're ready. Um, I don't feel comfortable doing this one hand as it's a ready to blow or slip off this anytime. Let's come right back. And there she is. All our PVA off. Again, I started with chopsticks. I could not find any high quality clothes pins. As you know the reason behind that. Need some Penley. Made in the US clothes pins. I couldn't find any Penley. They also make toothpicks clothes pins. So we use these shims that were left over from a construction project here. So there we are. this down I want to let this cool and who knows maybe we'll try the 21 FJ peel this stuff off of here quickly it is like a rubber goo oh it's very hot I'll peel all this off Clean this up. As I said, I don't have the double-sided sticky tape I want. Very nice that the glass is not broken. It just looked a lot worse than it really was. So we do have a good safety glass. Uh, again, I'm outside. I should. Uh, I'll continue cleaning this, and we'll check back shortly. Okay, I've got the glass cleaned off and I finally solved this mystery here of this guy interrupting the show. I, I saw a hole in the ground here and I would cover it and I looked the next day there was something and it has to be this guy. He was trying and trying all through the video to get in here. I don't know what kind of bee that is, but nonetheless. He's the one that's kept trying to buzz around and trying to put a damper on the whole thing here. In any event, 
back to the safety glass removal. Let him cool down. I, I want to get him out of the sun now that we're through. Okay, I've gone ahead and brought the tube back in the house. 138 degrees. It's very hot, this face of this. And I don't like moving or touching anything that's cold on the bottom down here. Down here it's about 95 in the face of this is a hundred so there's it's a little varying degree in temperature there we're gonna let this thing slowly cool down I've heard stories about these just sitting on the shelf in the cold weather uh, one service outlet had uh, them in a basement along the cement wall in the basement and on a cold winter's day one just decided to go to town and implode. So I've heard stories about these and I'm not wearing any safety things at the moment but this could happen at any time. That sort of thing. Glass is a funny thing. Uh, it's actually a liquid. Another thing that comes to mind is if you drop a dish or something you swear it would break in a million pieces but it survives and then all you do the next time you use it sometime later is just touch it the wrong way and it explodes so these things can have a personality all their own but again the safety glass is off we'll reattach that as soon as we find the means and we'll test this tube again again thanks for watching now we can get on with the the goal is to bench test the CTC 24 there with this tube outside of the cabinet and see how it looks.